Yo, back up into this and do a burnout. Get a little fire burnout. <laughs> yeah. I'm not kidding. Hey, John, you see what's outside? What? Come on outside. Is, this, is it fun? Yeah, it's fun. Really yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, it sucks about so, being, I knew you're so tall. Oh, sorry, man. So the car outside, we actually tried to get on like one of the first two episodes, oh, really? and they weren't able to come out. Yeah, I've been talking to them for a while. We were talking to them online, trying to get them to come here. They don't live local, so they dragged the car down on a trailer today. You guys might have seen it on the internet. It's pretty rad. It's this. Hey, Ryan, if you want, you can go back inside. We got this covered. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> got this. Oh, you guys, you guys yeah, are killing it. We already did the. Yeah, we Sweet. got cacao. Cacao was on it already, so you guys can just. Oh, cool. We can. All right, here, yeah, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just, I'll just leave that here. Boom, we're done. All right, that's a wrap, right? That's a wrap. <laughs> See, he knows how this ends. Boom, we're done. Shortest episode ever. Tell us about this thing. Well, this is my truck. It's Old Smoky F1. It's a purpose-built, 1,200 horsepower at the wheels. Cummins diesel powered race truck. make any sense but talking about not making sense can you please explain the plumbing situation here you've got <laughs> coolers on top of coolers all right so float into is, other coolers got a turbo an inner cooler and a turbo and then another inner cooler and then another cooler cooling the inner cooler cooler cooling the inner cooler for your cooler so yeah so walk us through the walk exhibit in here we need this, yeah, this is, yeah. exhibit, exhibit was my chief designer on this <laughs> uh, so this is a compound turbo setup it's really common on diesels basically this this turbo right here runs like any other turbo it runs off it runs off your exhaust manifold but then it in turn feeds this bigger turbo which is a 94 millimeter garrett gtx 5533 and so then it returns the favor by feeding the front of this turbo making this turbo driven by the turbine and the compressor housing. This, and then for cooling, yeah. Yeah, this big bell intercooler here is a water to air intercooler that cools the angry charge from this turbo to this turbo. And then this turbo is cooled traditionally by a water, or not water to air, air but to air, air to air intercooler here. Can we get a diagram? I'm kind of lost already. <laughs> That's so awesome. what you end up seeing, it's, it compounds the boost. So you end up seeing 106 PSI a what? boost at the plant. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's diesel, right? That's normal for diesel, right? I, can not, I wouldn't say I normal. It's, 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 it's achievable. Yeah. It's, it's achievable. achievable right. Okay. So, I mean, it's and then of course the, the engine has to be built to the teeth to do wait, that. Is it's that got an engine a here? Billet where girdle. <laughs> where is the engine? The There's a Cummins hiding under here. Yeah, oh, the Cummins is a really there. small engine, so I could understand how it gets lost. Yeah, it's puny. It's, so it's, it's, it's puny little lightweight engine, 1200 pounds. Um, but it's a 5.9 common rail out of a Freightliner truck. So. By the way, I want to point out that Hurt is still hovering around. Yeah. And Hurt usually, when like anything that's like older than 1984 comes out, he just goes back inside. You know, but there's we so much turbo here Listen, that he had to come out. We were sitting, there's two turbos, so this thing makes anywhere from one to three thousand horsepower. <laughs> And it's not in any. How much actual horsepower does this make? It makes 1233 at the wheels. You were close. <laughs> close <-ish. laughs> but, hey, On the price is right, you would have won. The catch is it makes 2,000 foot pounds of torque. Ah! One yeah, to three. You know? Right in the middle. Yeah, it's, so it's ridiculous. Anytime you got anything like that, it's going to do some sick burnouts. So Hurt, I'm going to hang out today. Hurt was genuinely <laughs> excited because we were at our desk and he's like, yeah, a truck outside's kind of sick. I think I want to go outside now. Yeah. <laughs> that never happens. And now I'm here, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm not here. Pretend I'm not here. I'm just watching. We we want you here. The internet wants you here. Okay. <laughs> Comment below if you want hurt here. Don't do that to me. They're all gonna. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. the that's who they really want. <laughs> With that kind of torque and power, you gotta you gotta have a full tube frame race car. So it's 
full. There's nothing. There's no 1949 Ford left. Yeah. So yeah, the quick change didn't come in 1949. No, that did not come as an option. Either. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I like though that you slowed down your quick change by putting a sway bar behind it. Is that what you have? Just a linkage behind there? <laughs> so you. A, <laughs> I think it's a pan hard. It's a pan hard. Yeah, it's a big pan hard bar. So it's a winner's super heavy duty quick change. You need that. I don't know why, but it's cool. Just in case. Just in case I need to go faster than 200. Track to road. Yeah. So that was about a five inch downpipe to it. <laughs> but yeah. So it's got it's got five inch MBRP stainless exhaust all the way back. And then, uh, That's actually the uh, same exhaust on uh, Cole Truckle. Oh yeah? <laughs> They're comment, like, below, comment below if we should do a Bill Bakebound on Cole Truckle. Cole Truckle? Cole Truckle. That's Cole what Truckle. we call my F-350. <laughs> Cole Truckle. So then on top on top of the, in case 1,200 horsepower isn't enough, you got 375 horsepower with a nitrous back here too. So, so this thing is, uh, it's got a 1,200 pound engine and yes. about, I don't know, probably another couple. Pounds of turbos. What does this thing weigh altogether? Uh, 3660. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Uh, that was amazing. Yeah. Where'd the truck come from? How'd you get that? Um, I bought the truck for 225 bucks off Craigslist. Nice. And I'll give you 300 bucks for it, it right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all. Maybe whoever goes up on 300 <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't offer you 220. Yeah, if I sell it for I mean, 200 bucks, I got to pay on it. It's on it. You put all these holes in it, it's clearly not worth anything yeah, anymore. Yeah, it's, it's beat up. So I bought it off Craigslist list for 225 bucks and it literally sat in the bushes for 40 years before I bought it so so was it this patinaed when you got it and you yeah, just kind of cleaned this it up all the real stuff all I did was like power wash it and put you know silicone spray all over it and rub it down looks good so it's but, still not clear coated or anything which is nice no I kind of I kind of uh, I always hate the like cleared over patina it looks like crap yeah, yeah. it makes it look too shiny because yeah. you can't have shiny rust right yeah I mean, I had a patina truck, so I know it sucks that when it gets dirty, it really stays in there forever, but... From yeah. here, I can see you're running du dual calipers there. You got a handbrake in this thing, uh, too? Yes, sir, I got a hand... What doesn't... What, need everything needs a handbrake. Yeah. So, I built the truck to, like, to do multiple motorsport. I wanted to drift it, I wanted to road race it, and I wanted to do land speed racing with it. And some driving around town. It's pretty uncomfortable, though. Yeah, Kirkies aren't really the best no, these uh, seats are daily drivers. No, they're gnarly. And it's then a there's a piece of foam there. There's not much room in here either. But it's fun. Don't we don't believe you. I think yeah. you need to show us that it's fun. Hurt doesn't believe you. It's fun. Listen, yeah, I, I don't think it could be. I fun. Can't nah. hire yeah. I haven't seen any yet. Is that a power turn on the wheels? So. No. Nah. So. Those tires. Some big rubber out yeah. back. You know. Yeah. I'm kind of. We've actually had a big problem here. Is that our triple our triple H? Yeah. Burnouts. I just don't think it's gonna happen. They're just too sticky. These are triple eight R's. Yeah, they're too sticky. It's not gonna work. Are you guys calling me out? Is that what's happening? I'm still going to come you on this one, but right. <laughs> I mean, honestly, 2,000 foot pounds. It's weak. It's too weak. Okay. It's weak. What is the fastest you've run this at shift sector? Uh, or we, any of uh, We had it going about stand, 140 huh? at shift sector, and then the transmission welded itself together, so. Wow. We, we could have done way more, but it I'm broke. Half track. It breaks, it's on its third transmission, so. Oh, what transmission's in it? We have it's, an EF. The transmission's based on a 47RH uh, one-ton truck transmission, but everything in it is Billet, billet clutches, extra clutches, billet shafts. I mean, it's it's built to get. I'll be I'll be completely honest. It's I built have to no get idea up. what that transmission you named is. Is that an automatic or a manual? It's an automatic, but we have it set up so manual valve body. Manual valve body. And shift it like. Vinny, you don't know anything about truck transmissions? Yeah. Oh my You're God, not a car guy. I don't know anything about Cummins transmissions. But I don't know shit. <laughs> so it's it's the same. It's the same basic transmission as the 727 torque flight. Okay. Oh, okay. But with Classic overdrive transmission. and big truck stuff in it. Yeah. So it can do big truck stuff. Yeah. What do you have for front converter. suspension set up in here? Um, it's all made in house except for the top arms. They're SPC adjustable arms. Um, everything else is tubular. It's got remote reservoir, AFCO shocks on it in front. So. <laughs> what are you uh, doing? Uh, Hurts genuinely reaping. Reaping. interested. Yeah, there's stuff in here. You gotta understand, <laughs> we bring old cars out and Hurts like, uh huh. She's not into it. He's trying to. John, one of your friends is here. <laughs> <laughs> There's some old car go, car here. You must right. know them. So he's hater proof though. Everybody likes him. Yeah, how can you? It's a truck. truck. If you got a Prius, you don't like it because right. it makes black smoke everywhere. But, but the diesel is probably decent on fuel economy. What type Dude. of MPGs you get in this thing? I don't know. That's the thing. He's got 200 pounds of torque and 47 miles to the gallon. <laughs> it, it probably gets like 30. 
on the freeway. That's disgusting. Wow. My Nova gets six. <laughs> I know it's got six and it's got half the uh, half the horsepower. So what's left on this that's pre-49? If you're a traditionalist. <laughs> Maybe these. <laughs> Yeah, and I is this stuff we or is this like a trailer thing? You know what? I don't know. They're cool though. No, it's perfect. <laughs> it just looks like someone just slammed it on. Really, That's what, what's you don't happen to have the stock steering box left for the F1, <laughs> do you? Because I need it for my car. Because <laughs> that's might. I might. that's true. Really? I think I I'll do, buy actually. it off you. All right. If you're building a Model A, the uh, F1 steering box really that's good for traditional steer. That's the business right there. Yeah, Hard to find. I think I do have it. I'll hook you up. Sick. <laughs> So, uh, we're starting this thing Just up. Just pay shipping and handling. All right, let's hear this thing start up. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a stock truck when you start it. That's a cool Yeah, it part. doesn't matter. Yeah. It's the best part about it. It's real low-key. It's just that starting it up gets us closer to scumbagging you into doing dangerous things <laughs> in your truck. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, so it sounds bad on a seat. Yeah. Like, you can put this in coal and no one would know. Okay, you want to know what's nuts? This is the second most crazy thing I've seen today. You want to know what the first is? Yes. Here's Andrew. Dumping a five hour energy into a monster energy. Wow. This is, that's number two. That's number one crazy this is, shit. This is the twin turbo of energy drinks. <laughs> Andrew's a marketing guy and uh, And avoids this camera like the plague. Yeah, when, when that thing comes out, he scurries away. But he's getting his on camera right now. So walk us through the inside real quick. What do you got set up here? Well, standard race car stuff. You standard got, race car stuff. A whole bunch of auto meter gauges. I got the auto meter dash link right here. Which, uh, how uh, do you like that? It works pretty good. It connects It connects to your OBD2 port. You can see basically everything. I mean, you don't even need gauges with it. You can only switch gear up here for all the fans and everything else. Bleep, bleep. Got your Wait. brake bias. All that good stuff. This thing is awesome. built up and it yeah. just went out. Yeah. Woo! I think it's time for donuts. Time for donuts? I can try. Oh yeah, you can it's definitely try. It's hard to get it up on school. You can walk it in. Yeah. It's so low. Yep. So they're gonna throw on some burners. <laughs> Pizza cutters. Yeah. For you, those are pizza cutters. <laughs> I have 255s are pizza cutters. Yeah, compared to what you have on there, yeah. Anything else is. Um, okay, dude, what are you gonna do right now? Um, commute to work. All right, cool. Yep. Have a good drive. <laughs> it's party time. Shameless plug, new hats. Available. I'm hitting it. Dot com. What? You heard me. Nice. He was really close. He was very close. He did? Okay, dude, we think you hit the con you tapped the container. Good. You were like that close to the container? That's pretty good. Yeah. Thank That's you very much. More? It's up to you, dude, if you want to do a sitter.
is intense. Look at this. Overcast. Poor kids. Overcast. The poor kids. Man. Sorry, guys. Man. Wow. Intense. So intense. Whew. That was, a, that was a nice commute to work. Yeah, that was a good one. Hey, that was perfect timing. Right when I dapped them, the tire popped. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. In the aftermath. I love nothing more than black smoke blowing through the tire smoke. Well, you came and you saw it. You, listen, everyone comes here and says, I'm going to blow the tires off of this thing, and then something always goes wrong. But when you got 2,000 foot-pounds... Obviously, it's not an issue. I like, I like the timing of the knuckle Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Cut to that again, just because it was dope. <laughs> so, no, no, no. If you actually blow a tire, you get to take an evidence jar home. Because everybody wants to take the evidence jar home. We don't. We keep them here. I like that rule. But if you actually really blow a tire and kill a tire, you get to take the jar home. So yes. you, get to take a car, you get to take one home. I like that. Smokey F1 came, saw, and conquered. Thank hey. you for coming. Thank you, guys. Oh, just, just dang. Oh, out there. dang, Chuckles Garage. And that's a wrap. He knew he came in. He knew. He knew. <laughs>